NCAA has been under heavy scrutiny the last few days after Yahoo Sports reported, reported dozens of major college programs paid money to recruits. Pistons head coach Stan Van Gundy went off on the scandal and the one and done rule yesterday. Let's take a listen. The people that were against them coming out made a lot of excuses, but I think a lot of it was racist, quite honestly. And the reason I'm going to say that is I've never heard anybody go up in arms about, oh my God, they're letting these kids come out and go play minor league baseball, or they're letting these kids come out and go play minor league hockey. The NCAA is one of the worst organizations, maybe the worst organization in sports. And they certainly don't care about the athletes. And they're going to act now like they're just appalled by all these things going on in college basketball, please. Shannon, what's your reaction? Uh, I believe Stan Van Gundy makes a very a lot of very valid points. Um, and I think uh, this does go along the racial component, Skip, for the simple fact of this. Mainly the men that are being affected disproportionately by this are black men. Definitely. Um, as he mentioned, baseball, hockey, you're allowed to go straight from high school to the pros. Obviously, there's a minor league system, and you can do that. But these black men that want to be go, I believe my talent is good enough for me to bypass college and go play in the NBA. They're being negatively impacted because they say, no, 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 no. Although you might be 18 or 19 and we will allow you to vote, we will allow you to go serve the country and fight and die for this country. We don't think you should go at 18, 19 and go make a, a honest living. Where did they do that at? My thing is, is that and what the NBA is trying to do is that they want them to go to college because that's their, that's their minor league system. We'll get an extra year to look at you and see. The NBA wants you to save them from themselves. Skip, just because a guy comes out of high school, that doesn't mean the Dallas Mavericks. That doesn't mean the Knicks has, has to select him because he came out. But seven foot, 6'10", the guy's like, I got to. Then when he doesn't pan out, oh, see, it's the guy's fault. No, you just chose the wrong guy. It right. happens more times than not. It just so happens that athletes are more prominent. But there is a family that paid $300,000 for someone to go try to get a law degree from Harvard, and it didn't work out. Or someone to go try to get a med de degree Definitely. that didn't work out. More than you know. We exactly. Never but yep. we don't hear about it. Skip, the thing is, if someone, what are you going to college for? To try to get, an, hopefully in the process, get an education, mm -hmm. and then you can go get your ideal job, your dream job. Mm -hmm. Well, these one and done, these guys that want to go straight, uh, uh, straight from high school to the pros, their dream job is to play in the NBA. It's not to go get a degree and say, I want to be a lawyer, or I want to be a doctor or, uh, or a teacher, or whatever. That's not their dream. And so in the process, you're like, well, no, this is what we want you to do. And it's like, well, we need a minor league system. Yep. If I join the military, Joy, they don't send me to the minor league to see if I'm ready to go fight and die for my country. Something pops off. If I'm in the military, guess where they send them 18 and 19 year olds? They send their butt overseas to go fight. Well, if I can go fight and die for this country, I should be able to go make an honest living, Skip. Correct. That's my decision. And if it doesn't work out, so be it. That's the, that's, that's the, the chance that you take. That when you skip college to go to the NBA, it, you might get a LeBron James. Look at Emeka, Emeka Okafor, Skip. It came down to him and Dwight Howard. I think Emeka Okafor went maybe two, three years of college. Dwight Howard was coming right out of high school. Mm -hmm. And although we believe that Dwight squandered some of his talent, there's no doubt in anybody's mind he's had a better career than Okafor. It happens. But I don't believe, you mean to tell me that Kobe Bryant would have been better served, LeBron would have been better served? Going to one year of college? Absolutely not. I was reading the story last night. I didn't know this, and very few people knew this. Did you know Jennifer Lawrence dropped out of middle school? She didn't even make it to high school. It was on 60 Minutes last night. Skip! She dropped out of middle school. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens if Jennifer Lawrence didn't make it? Oh, well, that's between her and her parents. Her parents gave her that ability to say, okay, you want to be... Because her job, her goal wasn't to go to college. Her goal was never to be a lawyer or a doctor. Maybe it was to play one in the movie. Okay, that's how it works, Skip. But they need to stop this and stop trying to hide behind this guys. We want to do what's best for the athlete. No, you don't. You want to make money off these athletes. 
Mm -hmm. And I'm glad we're going to talk about this a little later. Mm -hmm. I'm glad them players getting up. 100,000, 500,000, make that money. Because guess what? They say, if you're going to make me go to college, because I really want to go get two, three, four million. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to make me go to college in the process, skill, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to get me a couple hundred thousand while I'm here. And I don't blame them. Get it! Mm. Okay. Now, overall, I'm going to step back from everything you just said. And I, I get a lot of what you just said except for your conclusion. I was stunned by Stan Van Gundy's comment because even though we all agree this is a sorry system and players, if they choose, should be allowed to go straight from high school. I, I think NFL, you know, football players should be allowed to go straight from right. high school to play pro football if they so choose. Even though it's more of a grown man game, okay. if you want to take but, that but risk. But I have seen those running backs, starting with Adrian Peterson. I think he could have played pro football. I think Emmett Smith could have played pro football as a college freshman and been just fine. Okay. Just fine. But, but again, Fewer of those could be just fine. Right. Okay? Now, back to Stan Van Gundy. The reason I was stunned by his comment is this is the one case in which I can't see any racism because this is the NBA's rule. It's, their cho it's not college's choice. The NBA chooses to make players go one year to college. I think it's unconstitutional. I don't think it would stand up in court, but nobody seems to be able to muster up the money or the time right. or the – the power to go fight this, it would probably go to the Supreme Court. Okay, so I, I don't get how, look, the, the NBA isn't, do you think the NBA is a racist league? No. No, nobody thinks that. But I right? think what Stan is saying, Skip, it disproportionately affects one group. Well, sure it does. Okay, but again, you, you have the magic line. The NBA is trying to save itself from itself yeah. because its members, its teams, they don't want to have to pick a kid coming out of high school because they don't have enough don't body pick work. It. Okay? Okay, but if they don't, they're afraid, I'm it, damned if I do and I damned exactly. if I don't. So it, it benefits every team in the NBA for these players to go one year of college basketball. So now it's an I'll scratch your back relationship with college basketball mm -hmm. because you're a free and great minor league for right. the NBA. Mm -hmm. It's not considered a minor league. It's considered college basketball. It's March Madness. But it's a minor league for basketball it and is. football. It is. It's effectively a camouflage minor league. Yes, it is. Because you're getting to see these players at the highest level of college basketball, which right. is high, man. Right. It's, right. it's a big stage with a whole lot of folks watching, and you can see who rises and who shrinks right. under pressure in March Madness. Yes. And you can say, aha, that kid just got exposed. Maybe he won't be so good, so maybe he's going to fall to our 20th or 25th pick right. in the first round. So th that doesn't smack of racism to me. That's just good business where they're saying, well, let's save us from ourselves, right? Is that racial? That, that doesn't seem racial to well, me. Well, here's the thing, though, Skip. I mean, they make, bad, they make bad business decisions on other endeavors other than athletes. But no one's, no one's like, well, okay, we got to let this deal right here. I need to make this deal, but I'm going to wait a couple of years. No, Skip. Look, my thing is, if the guy is able to go play, if he believes he's able to go play, he should be allowed. And if he does not make it, it's on him. Mm -hmm. It's not – and, and you, you – you you want to blame the player where he wasn't good enough. Okay. I fought you for taking him. Okay. So now let's look at the bottom end of the rosters. Yes. There are many veterans who are union members in the NBA who are fighting against this because they don't want to lose their roster spot right. at the end of the bench. Right. Because they can make even a veteran's minimum. I don't even know what it is. Probably now, about like five, five, six yeah. million dollars. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, it's good money for them. Yeah. And they don't want some kid, and the horror story that everybody refers to was Jermaine O'Neal back in yeah. 1996, came straight out of high school into mm -hmm. the NBA for the Portland Trailblazers as the 17th overall pick, and he lasts four years in Portland and he started a grand total of 18 games and averaged about 10 minutes a game. Mm -hmm. So he just sitting at the end of the bench taking a slot right. that could have belonged to a veteran making not that much right. money then, but to him it would have been a whole lot of money. So you have about half the players union fighting for this one and done rule right. just to save slots at the end of the bench. Wait, wait, and here's the thing, here's another give you a situation, Skip. The owners convinced the NFL players that we need to do away with, you know, guys, you know, the, uh, rookies 
put a cap on the rookies because the Sam Bradford rule. Mm -hmm. Sam Bradford's coming in getting fifty million yeah. guaranteed, and that's more than Peyton Manning and, and Tom Brady and all these great guys. Mm -hmm. That's more guaranteed money than guys been proven. So what we'll do, we'll put a cap on on those guys, and so that money will go to some of the veteran players. But guess what they do, Skip? They end up cutting the veteran players because now I can get a rookie because the vet minimum is like a million bucks. I can get this guy, this rookie guy. I'm paying him three, four hundred thousand dollars. So guess what? That was now we got a cap on the front end. You got a salary cap on the back end, mm -hmm. and not in the middle. What? That money's in our pocket. Okay. So don't be fooled by that, players. That money's not going to you guys. The top guys are always going to get paid. My thing is, in in, in tennis. If a guy's, if a, a female or a male is 16 years old, skip, they can go into WTA. Or okay, the, I got it. But, and if they can't make it, they can't make it. Golf. Hey, if he can't make it, he can't make it. Hey, Let you, you golf, you have to pay your way, man. You got to, it's all up to you. You got to pay your, your entry fee. You know, like you, yeah. you got to pay your expenses. If you can make it, yeah. you can make it. Yeah. So in the NBA, yeah. if you forego college, yeah. oh, well, so be it. Skip, if I'm a high school senior, and I got straight, I'm, I got like a 5.10 grade point average, Joy. And Goldman Sachs come to me and say, you know what, we watch your, we see your grades. We think you're ready to do this right now. We're going to offer you $2 million to come on and work for Goldman Sachs. How many seniors, Skip, you think going to go say, you know what, I'm going to forego, I'm going to take, I'm going to go to college. <clears throat> that $2 million can wait. Not very many. Mm -hmm. These guys are looking at it, Skip, like my fa they're looking at their family situation. Okay, I'm going to college. Yep. I'm getting room and board. I got a nice place to stay. But mama and my brothers and sisters still stand in this leaky house. Mm. They still don't get to eat like I eat. I'm thinking about them. Okay, yeah, I'm finding good. I got good books and I got a room. Hey, I, I got you, but this is the NBA's fault. Stan acts like he's blaming it on college basketball, like they're the ones. No, your league is doing it. So Stan is calling his own league racist. That's what he's doing. He's accusing the NBA of being racist. Hey. And if that's good with him, but I don't think he quite gets it. This isn't like Prop 48, right. which seemed to have right. sort of a racist undertone right. to it. But in this case, he, Stan's even going so far as to say, this, this college system is broken and the onus falls on the coaches. So he's defending college coaches for paying players and getting caught for it. Yeah. And I, you, you can't defend them because the rules are bad, well, I, but they're still the well, rules, how about right? This, how about this, NCA? Stan, maybe take it this way. Stan says, if, if guys, if you're not going to come to spend at least two to three years in college, you can't come here. So the NBA say, we don't want no one and done college. So what are they going to do now, Skip? Mm -hmm. I'm a, they need to find one guy to go ahead and take this up. We're going to march on down here. Because I know there are plenty of lawyers out there just waiting for somebody to bring, this, bring one of one of these cases. Why I can't go? I can go die for my. Yeah, maybe, but I mean, the NBA doesn't have an obligation to let you in at a certain age. It's mm -hmm. a private company. They can yeah. probably they can probably argue that we can hire someone. He's like, well, hold on, you let LeBron in. Well, yeah, you can't have high school, them leave straight from high school. They have to be a certain age, though. But a, a big part of it is the players, the veteran players, not wanting yeah. to lose their spots. Next up, Des Bryant is coming off a disappointing season, and the Cowboys missed the playoffs. Despite that, he said he would not.